Knott's Berry Farm. When Junior asks to go to Disneyland, but your dad only buys store brand. Today we're hitting the road and heading to Buena Park, California. All kidding aside, this is really a great theme park. I mean, obviously, Walt Disneyland is a more immersive experience, but Knott's Berry Farm is arguably as good a park as even Disney's California Adventure. That's really nothing I ever thought I'd say. They really have some amazing rides here, and if you like thrill rides, they definitely have Disney beat in that regard. The theming of this park is a little hit or miss. Down over here in Ghost Town, it's really well laid out and themed, but uh, in some of the other sections of the park, it looks a lot more like a Six Flags park. It definitely varies from area to area. One of the highlights of this trip for me was the Ghost Rider. That's the largest wooden roller coaster on the west coast of the United States. It is no joke. It is an amazing coaster. You definitely want to ride it if you're a fan of wooden coasters. This one's Montezuma's Revenge. There's a lot of history in this ride, but uh, it's very dated by today's standards. It's just a shuttle loop, so you could probably skip it. If you're coming to this park for nostalgia, or just a fan of the old Schwarzkopf coasters, then I guess it's a good roller coaster credit. The new Calico River Rapids ride was epic. I didn't anticipate that one being as good as it is. Even if there's a long wait, I would still suggest you ride it. It's one of the better rides in the park. I also highly recommend the Log Flume ride. That one is so awesome that uh, Disney even decided to rip it off when they made Splash Mountain 20 years later. What you're looking at right now is the Silver Bullet. This one's a bit of a headbanger, so I'd only give it average marks. But uh, if you want that uh, high-speed inverted coaster experience, then you definitely want to ride this one. I'm being a little overly harsh on the Silver Bullet. It's not as rough as, say, a Vacoma SLC. It definitely rattles more than uh, most B&M coasters that I've ridden. One of the things that I absolutely love about Knott's Berry Farm is that uh, the park has a small footprint, so a lot of the roller coasters are intertwined with each other. It makes for a really interesting scenery. So Silver Bullet opened back in 2004. It's got six inversions. The first drop is 110 feet, and it tops out at 55 miles an hour. It's a pretty cool coaster, although with those specs, it's obviously not one of the larger ones in California. This is some old footage of Knott's Boomerang. They removed this ride a while back to make room for their new dive coaster. It was definitely the right decision. These things are everywhere, and very generic. And the last major coaster here at Knott's? The Accelerator. You definitely need to check this out if you like extreme rides. It's one of the most intense at the park. Okay, now for the bottom line. So Knott's is a great middle ground park. It's got a lot of great family rides, as well as thrill rides. Now, if you've ever been to Six Flags Magic Mountain, you'll know that place absolutely sucks if you have anyone under the age of 12. Everything's an intense roller coaster there, and there's just no family rides. Disneyland kind of sucks for anyone over the age of about 15, because there's no extreme rides. Knott's Berry Farm kind of straddles the line in between the two. It offers a great balance between extreme Six Flags style park and a themed experience like Disney. The other nice thing about Knott's Berry Farm is it won't break the bank. It's one of the more affordable options when it comes to California theme parks. So if you're looking for a fun day of family activities that's affordable, then Knott's is the place to go. Thanks for taking a look at Knott's Berry Farm with me. If you liked the episode, please like and subscribe.